I thought I would teach him, but he's teaching me. So that's very much a message that's in the movie too, that our children are, will always be better than us if we support them and we give them the tools they need. And, the, and, they, and they gain the confidence by, if you challenge them enough as they're younger, they will rise to the challenge and, and become very confident children. Hi, Robert. How are you, Jenna? Hi, thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to talk to you and to talk about Spy Kids Armageddon, which you, I had yeah. so much fun watching. And But let sure. me ask you, what is the mission this time around? <laughs> the mission is something for the first time we had it to where the kids accidentally started the problem that they have to now go solve because they were trying to sneak out and play a video game and it triggers Armageddon. But like my own kids, they know independent video game creators, that they, they love these independent video games. They know everything about the creator. So I thought that'd be great if they know about the creator, they can find him, they know how he thinks, they can beat his game. They actually have a better chance against him than real spies, adult spies. So the mission is for them to go find this game developer who's created a game that's taking over the world and blocking people from using their technology. And they have to defeat, defeat him and uh, bring their own family back together. And these movies are always designed to make the mission that they go on makes the family stronger by the end. Even if they start off as a good family, they end up as, as an even greater family by the end because of the challenge of the mission. It makes them better people. Yeah, so I love. Uh, yeah, I love all the the, the Spy Kids move. This franchise is really cool because it's all the families they you always rely on the family and you are a, a family person you are a family guy how much your family motivates you motivates you and inspire you to do uh, those movies so much i mean the first ones my kids were really little they were more like stunt kids in the movie and they acted it was mainly based on my growing up with a family of 10 kids um, but now these new films are much more based on me raising my five children because now they're the age I was when I made El Mariachi and Desperado. So they've grown up with this franchise and now are my key collaborators. So I, I really based it on a lot of our experiences um, growing up uh, when yeah. they were growing up. Yeah. Amazing. I, I noticed that Rebel it's, uh, did the music. How was like collaborate with with him? <laughs> He's been working with me on the music since 2017, 2018, back when he was in a teenager. And he's just so good. You know, I gave him piano lessons since he was four, but he taught himself music theory and orchestration on YouTube. <laughs> and now he was, he was conducting the London Orchestra for this in, in London. It was amazing that he writes for full orchestra and is so good. He writes circles around me. I thought I would teach him, but he's teaching me. So that's very much a message that's in the movie too, that our children are, will always be better than us if we support them and we give them the tools they need. And, the, and, they, and they gain the confidence by, if you challenge them enough as they're younger, they will rise to the challenge and, and become very confident children. So yeah, having one son write with me, one compose, the other one designs the video games. The other one, my daughter, she draws the emojis and oh, sings okay. the title song and weathers by co-editor it's it's just so much fun because uh, it's the only movie series in the industry that's made by a family for other families so it's very special and we love making them yeah you should keep going like making all these amazing <laughs> stories yeah it's amazing because you know it takes a village but in your case it takes a family you know so it, <laughs> that's amazing also, like we are celebrating the uh, Hisp uh, Hispanic Heritage Month, the Latino Heritage Month. Do you have an advice to give to people, the Latinos, that want to pursue a career in this industry? Um, well, my the advice I always gave was after I got in, you know, back then it was harder to get in. And, and I just went to, to get a job and to now there's much more opportunity. but. Back then, I, it really helped actually to be blocked out so much because then I just went and made my own movie my own way, you know, El Mariachi. <laughs> that was a much better way to go. So uh, nothing should hold you back. You know, you can always go create. They're all looking for movies. They're looking for great ideas. They're looking for great stories. And as Latinos, we have amazing stories that no one's told before because um, because of all the years there, there were no stories. 
being told like that with diversity in Hollywood. So we have a lot of amazing stories ourselves that uh, can be told. So it's an exciting time for filmmakers to take the opportunity to bring those stories to, to light. Yeah, amazing. Now you need to keep bringing all these family movies that I, I really love it. I enjoy a lot. I just want to thank you so much for your time. Muchas gracias. Muito obrigada. Gracias. And Brazil loves you too. So thank you so much. Uh, igualmente. <laughs> <laughs> ciao, ciao. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.